What's up, don't miss? What's happening, gang? You guys probably think that I do not drink water, but look at my skin. Perfectly amazing in the sunshine, in the sunlight. Absolutely amazing, and I'm going to prove you wrong. I drink a lot of water. Excuse my voice. <sighs> Stay hydrated. Uh, we're going to react to Bear Girls' experiment that exposed female nature. Um, let's get into it. So if someone watches episode one through to the end, what do you want them to learn as they're sat there on their sofa? Um, I think one of the things is that, is that you know, it's, survival isn't gender specific, actually. You know, women might approach stuff differently to men, but really it's about this. It's about heart and character. And I'm all about being independent, not, you know, relying on men for anything. But fire is part. really important. And the way that they have their camp set up, they have an area to put wood to keep dry. They have Obviously. all the things they need to cook food. They keep their fire going because it's right by their bed. I mean, they just have a really good system going for them, and we don't. Just right off the bat, just to get things started, everything she has highlighted is true and obvious. When faced with danger, as men, we default to our natural instincts to protect and provide for ourselves and loved ones. It is rarely instinctual for women to protect and provide. Hence why the camp set up by the men is potentially and optimal, potentially and probably optimal for the circumstances they're facing on the specific show. The men, of course, will tend to do better when it comes to survival. Before I ramble on, let's continue. You'll get to, to see the differences um, and be quite careful not to make it sort of a battle of the sexes and let people draw their own conclusions. It sucks that, that we need the boys for some things. Um, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there's things that we really need from them and I hate that it's always like a bargain. Well, what can we get from you? And it's just... So annoying. I don't know what their mentality is. Every time they ask for something, they act like they deserve it, and uh, they they make it sound like we are uh, taking more from them than they are from us, which is completely ludicrous. So um, every time we turn around, they're wanting something. In a quid pro quo situation, someone in a position of power demands sexual favors in exchange for job benefits. You just want just a minute of warmth, and then you can just struggle through it. And when the boys said that they didn't want us around standing around their fire anymore. Unless sexual favors are given, there'll be a loss of job <laughs> benefits. Yes. I believe that is just for the purposes of content. It doesn't always have to translate to sexual favors or sexual exchange. But I firmly believe that it's only fair that I ask for an exchange to take place before you indulge in the pleasantries of what I have built. It does not have to be sexual transaction. Um, what could it be? They could potentially offer cooking. Listen, you guys have built this. We want your fire, and in return, we'll offer to cook. Pretty simple. Doesn't have to come down to sexual favors. So many people writing in saying, and yes, I will keep quiet now, and we're going to watch the video. Apologies. <laughs> You've got to do a women's version, and you know, I thought, Hallelujah, brilliant. You know, this is what we really want to do. since we've been here. We got zero sleep last night. We stayed up the entire night, froze, soaking wet, and we haven't had fire because it rained and put it out, so now we haven't eaten. Sorry, buddy. It's about heart and character and, you know, determination. And, and that's not, you know, that's not just a domain of a woman or a man. I can't be cold one more second. I was thankful last night that we stuck to our guns a little bit after tribal and, and didn't run over and jump in the men's shelter. But going over there this morning, I have no shame. <laughs> I've never been so miserable. I couldn't get my tail over there to that fire fast enough. Come on, come on, guys.
This is a very high fall. Make sure you keep your arms to your chest and land on your back. Yeah, Here we go. One more thing that I need to mention before I watch whatever's going to go on here. I have to say that certain circumstances trigger a man's natural instinct to behave in manners that are mostly optimal for certain situations. For example, the obstacle course, survival instincts kick in for a man, and they're probably most or less prone to injury compared to the woman. The woman will probably get injured because instinctively or naturally instinctively, the men can survive such circumstances and the women are not built for it. I could be wrong, and that is not to say that that there are not women that can survive in harsh environments, of course, with specific training. But most of the time, men do not need training. Instinct allows us to survive in certain environments. I could be wrong in this one. The woman could totally kick the man's a-hole, but we'll see. Bill Jones! Jonas Jones! Go, Nina! What movie is this from? Um, if I'm not mistaken. Comes Alicia. Fuck our family right now. Got it, got it, got it. He gives it a go. Go, 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 I'm really dizzy. I'm really dizzy. I don't think I can be on What'd I say? All right, everybody, <laughs> hold up. Okay, so it's unclear right now what it is mm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Until you x-ray, you won't know. Yeah. Which means we're not sure her status in the game at this point. So why don't you take her out of here? All right, men, no tribal council tonight. Grab your stuff, head back to camp. Women, I'll see you tonight at tribal. Yeah. Those guys don't give a crap about any of us girls, and it showed it today. They don't oh care. Yeah. <laughs> We're not letting those muscles discourage us at all. All right, let's load up nice. the stuff, guys. Girls, if we all just keep our head in the game and try to stay, you know, together and just take the boys down, then we'll just be one huge ball of badassness. Two thousand years later. This season's battle of the sexes hasn't been a battle at all. The men's tribe has won every challenge. Go, 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 go. Badassness. When we play the survival game, it is not the same. It is absolutely different. We have different roles to play, and as I mentioned, naturally we protect we provide we step up to bold and protect those around around us and the women cannot compete in that realm certain women can perhaps through a lot of training but we do not require training our instincts just naturally allow us to step up to the plate and do what is optimal for that situation which is to bold protect those around us and provide words are words but actions are actions image or clothes or makeup or whatever our sort of stuff is you know what? It's not what we are. You know, what we are is beyond all of them. Chelsea and I needed to wash our hair with fresh water so we can look shiny and clean. What people look like, it matters. You know, there's like lots of studies that have been done on that. So we thought if we put fresh water in our hair, our... Chances go up, up, up. <laughs> the reality is, if you're real masculine, a number of women today are offended by that. Just the bare presence of pure, unadulterated manliness infuriates some women today. When it ought to charm them. I agree with him to an extent, but I believe that the truly feminine women are not bothered by a truly masculine man. It's the contrary. They are extremely attracted to him. They can accept that full masculinity. Same way for a truly masculine man can can accept a truly feminine woman. It is absolutely easy and everything just flows. But for a woman who believes that I am independent, I can do things on my own, of course she's engaging in her masculine traits and it's obviously most of the time, often, oftentimes, it's going to clash with the truly masculine because she's engaging her masculinity. 
that's the only reason why certain women clash with the truly masculine men. I, I said what I said. If you don't understand the logic or if you don't agree with the logic, no, no, no. go ahead and do whatever you want. No, no, no. I'm just trying to make sure I heard you correctly. Does it matter the order? Damn it. Shut it. up for a minute. You I'm not in a good it. mood. Just shut I'll up. Relax, man. And also, women tend to be extremely dramatic during certain circumstances. If we're facing pressure, I do not want to hear a thing. I'm just trying to do the best for us to survive. Do not come to me about, oh, what you did three years ago. Listen, we're about to face a thunderstorm. You're talking to me about three years ago. No, 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 no. Listen, sweetheart. Let's focus. <laughs> We uh, started working on our shelter, and uh, lo and behold, as always, some of the girls came over and were like, can we borrow an amber from our fire? They didn't have fire. Um, so I don't think any of the girls want to stand over there. It's uncomfortable mooching off of them. I mean, they're all like, excuse me, move, move. I literally just wanted somebody to punch me so I can be knocked out last night. Talking about, well, we haven't been uh, warm all night, blah, blah, blah. We're soaking wet. We're cold. We're freezing. So the guys have just, I guess, had to get this mindset like, no more deals. It's off. Like, you know, this is a game. We want to be nice, but again, we're playing for a million bucks. Like, screw these girls. I went out crab hunting this morning and came back and found six or eight of the girls in our in our shelter underneath our stuff, sitting on our beds, you know, soaking wet, you know, sitting by our fire. I need to borrow your car right quick. What kind of shit is that? You want to borrow my car? Imagine the, the entitlement. And I, I am mostly certain that these individuals are gentlemen. They probably had no problem with it at first. They let the ladies lay down because I'm sure they're, they're, they're facing tough times. It is only fair that they allow them a certain period of leisure. But I am 100% certain that they feel entitled. Listen, we deserve this too. But it is not the case. It's a competition. You don't deserve anything unless you build it. Aren't you a strong, independent woman? That's what you mentioned in the beginning. Hell no! The worst thing in the world to me is being wet and cold. And it's been like that for a long time. Crying is a waste of water. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's different, you know. I mean, the women get really quite feral and shocking, actually, in a way that I'd never anticipated. Put this back in the sea, shall we? Shall we put this back in the sea? Erica starts throwing away some of the group's firewood. She's lost her mind. Don't put this back in the sea. It's just bizarre. What is going on? She's now going to push some... And this is proof that under pressure, men tend to hold themselves composed more than women. Not to say that women can't do it. There probably are certain women that can, can do it. But once again, the exceptions do not disprove the rule. Under pressure, men tend to maintain control more than women. This is proof right here. She probably can't handle the pressure. And that's why she's behaving in the, ma in the manner she is right now. Wood in the sea. Oh my god, I am so fucking sorry. One of the women on the island, which was, um, <laughs> because I can't afford to cry anymore, is dehydrating me. I feel such a dick. Why? You're my hero. Oh, thank you. However determined they are, this can't do it. We are a team here, aren't we? Apart from Jane. You know what? We're de dealing with hormonal irrational women right now it, it's not even worth trying to negotiate and at this point i'm done every time we caught a fish it was like a big hurrah like we you know we know we can do something that the boys have been doing every day stab a crocodile gut it <laughs> and then carry it out of the jungle with the glass ceiling broken all the oppressed groups shall prosper so me and troy go over to the women's tribe and we propose that they let us use the net because they obviously don't know how to use the net. 
So they go over, we, we, me and Troy go over and we say, listen, if you let us use the net, we'll give you 50% of whatever we catch. I'm just like, 50 fish, that's enough. Everybody can have two, three fish each in both tribes. So, um, Jonas doesn't, ha he doesn't have a suave way about asking things. What we want to do now, we're not pushing the issue. What we're going to do is just let them fumble around for a few more days and not get, catch fish. And they'll come back. And when they come back, the deal's different. It's not 50-50 anymore because they're coming back to us. The deal's more like... Uh, <laughs> is that all? Uh, and once again, I am 100% certain that this is just for content purpose and it does not have to be a sexual return. There are other things that can be worked out for exchange purposes. <laughs> what do you mean, is that all? What the hell, you want a hand job? And that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drink your water, too. Yeah, hey, Tony Franco, it's a wave.